What is going on everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. That's right. It's Monday. Yeah. If you looked on your watch, it said Monday. If you looked on your calendar, it said Monday. We are going to wipe off Friday. It never existed. Four crappy basketball card packs. That Okay, I ripped this stuff open so you can see. Wait. I, I got a crappy pack. Everybody on YouTube is getting, they're getting fire. Well, guess what? Not everybody does. And that's what I'm here to show you. Not everybody gets fire. Yeah. So what are we going to do today? Well, I said we'd probably rip open some baseball. And I'm not lying. We are going to rip open some baseball. We're going to rip open more Bowman. But I'm going to call this the Bowman test challenge, if you will. Um, I have another hobby box. I'm going to sit on it. I have opened a hobby box before here on the channel. I uh, did it in four parts. But what I want to do is I want to do, and we're going to cruise for this one. I want to do a blaster box edition. That's right. We got four blaster boxes here. Yeah, four blaster boxes. The difference between the hobby boxes and the blaster boxes, besides the hits, that's obvious, um, is two cards per pack more. So you know what? We're going to try and just see if this would replicate a, uh, a hobby box. Now that said, we're gonna rip those open, but before we get to that, it's gonna be a mail day. Let's see what we get. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, so we are going to rip open not one, not two, not three, but four blaster boxes of Bowman. We're going to do a hobby box challenge, if you will. They're not hobbies. These are the retail, but we're going to see what we can get. But before we do that, it's time to check the mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to will. It is the mail that never fails. Thank you so much, Josh, from Blue's Clues and You, one of my daughter's favorite shows. All right, Monday mail, and we've got three packages here. Two from Tops and one from an eBay purchase. So let's just start from the top. We are going to rip open our Tops packages. I know what they are, but do you? Let's find out. Here we go. Now this is the Tops Now, the most printed Tops Now card in the history of Tops Now. That didn't give it away. Um, this guy is was the number one prospect in all of baseball. Okay, did that not give it away? He is the starting shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays. Wander Franco. I picked up Tops Now. I decided to go ahead and get five because I've been buying so much crap online through Tops that I've built up the points to get $20 off. So, you know what? Let's see if I maybe got a, uh, a parallel. I highly doubt it. But you know what? One, two, three, four, five. Five of the regular cards. But you know what? The reason I bought them, I think Wander is a generational player and I've been pretty high on him. I was high on him before I got back into the hobby, so I knew about him. I kind of wish I was collecting because I would have got a lot of his stuff for a little bit cheaper than it is right now. But anyway, I think Wander is going to be the real deal. So I, yeah, just give him some time. He's 20 years old. He's got, yeah, the pedigree. He's got everything. So I picked up five, five of those cards. Um, was hoping for a parallel, but come on, I think they printed like 61,000 of those for Tops Now, which is a record. Um, so yeah, that was, that was package number one. Package number two is a Project 70. Uh, the first Project 70 or Project 2020 I've ever bought. Um, this one has a little bit of a, uh, it's a PC piece for me, but when I saw it, I wanted to get the Trout one before. I saw it too late, so I have to get on eBay eventually. This was one I saw, and I'm like, I wanted to get this. Um, the artist spoke to me, and I'm not sounding like like she actually called me and said, hey, what's going on? Uh, she spoke to me with the image. Me growing up in the Northwest, being a junior fan growing up, uh, but also seeing the iconic images on the piece of art. And that's what Project 70 and 2020 are, their art. What do we got? We got Junior, Ken Griffey Jr. 
in a team bag. So yeah, there we go. Uh, no parallel, no nothing. Got a little scratch on the giant, giant one touch there. Uh, again, I have no Project 70s, no Project 2020s in my collection. If you see the Space Needles on here, there's Junior when he slid into home uh, at the Kingdom. Uh, when the Mariners uh, won, uh, advanced to the uh, to the uh, playoffs, it's it's just a card that's iconic to me growing up in the Northwest. So, do I love the Mariners? No, I don't. I enjoyed the Mariners, and they're not even near my favorite team, but I do enjoy them. And to me, this card spoke to me about growing up in the Northwest, and yeah, I just that was why I bought this card. So there, um, it's just an awesome looking card. Yeah. The kid and Lauren Taylor, I believe. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren Taylor is the artist, and she also grew up in the Northwest. I did not know that, but yeah. So Lauren Taylor, there is the back. If you ever wondered what the back said, so it's time for our final little thing. Is an eBay purchase. Uh, I want to say I paid uh, about four bucks total in shipping for all of this. Um, yeah. So what do we got here? We got ourselves. And the reason I bought the last two cards was because it was the same buyer and I wanted to combine shipping. So I won in auction a Sheraton Apostle rookie card for the Rangers. He's an outfielder. He's a good young one. He did get some at-bats last year in the, during the COVID season. Uh, I think he's about another year or so away because they obviously they just hurried up some guys and brought him up to get some playing time. I think he's a little bit of a ways away. But... He's still on my radar, personally. I think he's going to be a good one. So, Sheraton Apostle. And then I combined shipping, and I bought these, and I won them on eBay as well. And I haven't pulled these guys. Well, maybe I will today. Um, Kevin Alcantara and Austin Wells. Uh, these are the chromes. Of, I did pull a chrome of Austin Wells, so it's not that big of a deal. But the Kevin Alcantara, I have not pulled yet. He's Jason Dominguez light, is the best way you can put it. And... I'm not a Yankee fan at all, but I am high on this kid. He's still, he's he's about three, four years away, at least, at least. More like four to five, honestly. But just getting these cards, I paid like $2 for these, and then I paid like two bucks for the Sheraton Apostle. So I'll put the combined total shipping and all that fun stuff. Like, I, I already did that. That's how quick I did these things. I already did it. So, and... He did ship it. He did. I did pay. Uh, I did pay a little bit extra for shipping. So it was in a bubble mailer and everything. Could have been painter's tape, but he put it in a team bag. So I do appreciate that. Team bag, top loaders, quality. Maybe a little cardboard would have been nice, but again, he did a good job. So let me go ahead and wipe this off, and we are going to start the massive feast of Bowman baseball. All right, everybody. So that was Monday mail. Now it's time for the show, if you will. But before we get to ripping all four of these Bowman Blasters, retail from Target or Tops.com or Barnes & Noble or wherever I've bought these, because these are all randoms, I don't even know which ones these are. Uh, before we get to these, you might wanna press that like button and you might wanna like that, you know, press that subscribe button and you might want to press that notification bell. Press that, follow me down here, because I'm holding these boxes, I can't really point. Follow me, they're right down there. All that fun stuff there. You know what, and when you're done doing that, you've subscribed to me, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you have, but if you haven't, I'm doing a little giveaway. When I reach 500 subscribers, I don't know why the F I don't have 500 subscribers, when, or even 1,000 for that matter, for God's sakes. When I reach 500 subscribers, 20 packs of the Dollar Trees NBA Hoops. Five cards per pack, yeah, you see right there, five cards per pack. Uh, we, the yellow in the parallel is in here. There, There's gonna be a Wiseman in here. There's gonna be a Lamelo in here. There's gonna be a Tyrese Halliburton. I guarantee you, Anthony Edwards, they're gonna be in here. You know why? Because they weren't pull, pulled out of the box when my buddy bought the box. These are the remaining packs out of that box. He didn't get those cards. So yeah, we're gonna get them. Five for subscribers. Those are going to 20 random subscribers here on YouTube. Yeah. You ready to rip some packs? Good. Because I'm ready to rip some friggin' blaster boxes. I've actually been wanting to do this for um, probably about a month now. Uh, a couple Twitter, Twitter followers I've been interacting with, and we've mentioned it. 
Uh, and uh, the hobby box I ripped, I was kind of meh, I was under underwhelmed. And I was thinking, well, what would it be like if I ripped open X amount of Megas or X amount of Blaster Boxes or a bunch of Fat Packs just to kind of even out and see how things work? Well, this is a great example right here. Again, like I mentioned at the top of the show, there are 24 packs of 10 cards in a hobby box. In the Blaster Box, there are six packs of 12 cards. Four times six is 24. So realistically, you're getting two extra cards per pack. Now again, with Hobby, you do have a higher chance at hits and higher chance at parallels, inserts, whatnot, that you wouldn't get at retail. But you know what? I wanted to just do this. So would you like to come along with me on the journey? Uh, then what are you watching my show for? Okay. okay, well, you know what? You hit play on here. You wanted to watch something. So let's just do this, all right? Let's just go. Okay, good. I'm glad I convinced you to stay. So we are going to rip open. The only one I know for a fact is this one at Barnes & Noble because it's got a little bit of a dented top. And I'm the type of guy who's like, you know what? I don't care. As long as the box is not crushed by Target's just incredible genius shipping department, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's just do this. Ripping packs. And by the way, before I even get into it, I am only going to go to you, to you, I'm only going to go to you for the chromes and the firsts and inserts and special cards. Normally I would have stories and that's just, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little side note, but it's going to stay up there at the top camera. I'm going to stay with you for the most part because we got a crap ton of cards to go through. And I'm gonna have fun just going through this later. Are right, you ready? Let's go. Ripping packs. One blaster box, a total of four. We are talking five packs per box plus one extra pack at 12 packs. I've already done the math. 72 cards per 144. We're talking at 188 cards. Let's kick some ass. Let's haul. Let's rip some packs. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ripping packs. Okay. Okay, open up. There we go. There we go. Here are our packs. Box number one. Six packs as advertised, just in case. Go from the top. Pack number one. Let's put some packs. Let's go. Okay. Jorge Soler. Jesus Sanchez, rookie. Alex Kirloff, rookie. Jose Garcia, rookie. Andre Jimenez, rookie. Dylan Carlson, PC Pal, but not today. Christian Pache, rookie uh, Bowman Scouts 100 for the Braves. And it sucks about Ronald Acuna, man, because he was having a good, solid year. MVP style, he wouldn't win it because DeGrom and Tatis and a handful of other guys are just awesome this year. But that is sucks for baseball because he's a good thing. Anyway, Christian Pache. Austin Martin, nice out of the first pack. Austin Martin, first chrome. Going into the first pile, which I'm going to do a first pile and a first chrome pile. Wander Franco. Wow, pack number one is bringing the hit goods. Pack number uh, Wander Franco going into the chrome pile. Then Alexander Ramirez for the Angels with the first. Freddy Zamora, prospect pile. And Vidal Brujan, who just got called up to the bigs. That was a pretty good pack. That was a pretty damn good pack. Pack number two of Blaster Box number one. Let's go. Okay, we got Miguel Cabrera, Max Kepler, Glaber Torres, Blake Snell for the Braves, Red, Red Padres now. Same with you, Darvish, Padres now. Tarek Skubal for the Tigers, rookie cup pile. Nick Madrigal, rookie of the year favorites. He is out for the year now, I believe. Uh, second baseman out of Oregon State, going into the insert rookie pile. Michael Toglia, first baseman for the Colorado Rockies, prospect chrome. Then Daniel Lynch, prospect for the Royals. Royce Lewis, prospect. Hunter Bishop, prospect. And Adley Rutschman, who, if you've seen my show before, you know that his dad tried to teach me how to hit curveballs. Didn't work out because I'm ripping backs now. Ha! Anyway, pack number three of Bowman. 2021 Super Duper Edition. Let's go. Clark Schmidt, rookie card. Tristan McKenzie, rookie. Ian Anderson, rookie. Nick Madrigal, rookie. Garrett Crochet, rookie. Jose Altuve, loser. 
Pete Alonzo, Andrew Dahlquist, uh, Bowman Chrome, Prospect for the White Sox. Then Casey Martin, Prospect for the Phillies, no insert in this pack. Then Edward Cabrera, Justin Foscue for the Rangers, and Jonathan India, who's now playing in the big leagues for the Reds. Pack number uh, three sucked. Pack number four. Let's go. Okay, we, uh, no prospect in this one. No insert in this one. Manny Machado for the Padres. Luis Garcia, rookie card. Sixto Sanchez, rookie. Jordan Alvarez having an awesome year for the Astros. Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Clevenger, Mike Clevenger for the Padres. Matt Chapman for the Oakland A's. Tyler Soderstrom drafted last year out of 2020. That's where his draft rookie card, his first Bowman, is going to be. Uh, catcher having a pretty solid season for the A's. Then Geraldo Perdomo, shortstop uh, prospect for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, then uh, Mario Feliciano for the Brewers. Bobby Miller would go into PC Pal, but not today. Robert Fossen for the A's. So right now we've only turned hit two Bowman uh, first so far out of four packs. Pack number five out of Bowman Blaster number one. Let's go. All right, Javi Baez for the Cubs. Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Joe Adele, who's still kicking the ass in the AAA for the Angels. Kim Brian Hayes for the Pirates, rookie stud. Spencer Howard, rookie for the Phillies. Kittle Marte for the Diamondbacks. Bowman Scouts top 100 of Spencer Torkelson. He is just played in the Futures game uh, for Detroit for the American League. Um, first round, uh, number one overall in 2020 by the Tigers. His first card is going to be in Bowman Draft 2020. That's a hit. Blake Walston uh, for the Diamondbacks. That is a prospect card. And then we have another first of Junior Severino. Uh, Twins prospect. I'd say he's on the He's in the top 10. He's definitely he's a good one. He's young, but there's not a lot of good first in this. So he'd be a he'd be a good one to pull, but not like wow. Uh, Corbin Carroll, stud prospect for the Diamondbacks. Taylor Trammell is back in the base for the Mariners, and Shane Baz, who is the Tampa Bay Rays like top pitching prospect. Last pack of blaster box number one, ripping packs. Let's go. Okay. Joey Votto for the Reds. Keston Hira for the Brewers, finally back and hitting the ball. Buster Posey for the Giants. Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Austin Meadows for the Rays. Chris Bubik, rookie card. Let's go to the back just in case. Xavier Howards, prospect for the pa Rays, former Padre. Shea Langier, Langliers bleh, for the uh, Braves, catcher, prospect. Baron Laura, Texas, uh, prospect, our first our first chrome out of the last pack is Drew Waters for the Atlanta Braves. Prospect chrome card. And the last one is, is that, uh, yeah, Freudus Nova for the Astros with the prospect. And the last card is a Bowman. Aaron Judge going into the PC pile. But right now he's just going into the insert pile. So there was blaster box number one. Highlights would include one card. Well, I like Aaron Judge, but and Spencer Torkelson. One card, and that is the single Austin Martin pulled out of the first pack. So pack, uh, Buster Box number one was, uh, honestly, I'm doing this to try to see if I can get myself an autograph because I've only pulled autograph out of a hobby and I've ended up buying autographs because I'm not, yeah. Anyway, let's go to Buster Box number two. Blaster box number two. We're doing it the same way. Let's go. Ribbon packs, three, two, one. Let's rip some freaking packs. Let's go. Okay. All right. Six packs of Bowman's Mediocrity is coming at you. Mediocrity as in that's what I've just got. Pack number one. 2021, Blaster Box number two, let's go. Okay, Evan White, rookie card for the Mariners. He's not hitting the ball. Leody Tavares for the Rangers. He's not hitting the ball either. Jazz Chisholm could win rookie of the year. I still want Dylan Carlson to win, but Jazz 
Chisholm is just doing really good. I might have to concede. Casey Mize, rookie card for the Tigers, stud pitcher. Debbie Garcia for the Yankees, quality young pitcher. Jake Cronenworth for the Padres. Luis Campusano, both rookies. And then we have ourselves Drew Romo, a chrome uh, prospect card. His uh, Bowman first was in draft 2020. And Xavier Edwards for the Rays is our other prospect chrome. Then we have Zach Veen, prospect for the Rockies. Austin Wells for the Yankees, catcher. And Helio Ramos, one of the Giants' top prospects. And he was just in the Futures game on Sunday. Pack number two. By the way, that pack was... Pack number two. Blast your box, two. Let's go. Oh, we got... Oh, we got some shiny coming up. We got some shiny. Ronald Acuna. Oh, man, I just... I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna show him to the camera there, but Ronald Cunha, man, I, I mentioned it just a bit ago, but that is, it sucks for baseball because you want guys like this. He's good, he's young, he's gonna bounce back, but you don't wanna see things like that happen to a great good guy like this. Ronald Cunha, Shane Bieber for the Indians, Kristen Yelich, who's eh, not hitting for the Brewers, Sean Murphy for the A's, Kyle Lewis for the Mariners going to the PC Pal, but not today. Max Scherzer for the Nationals. Let's go to the back. We got a first Bowman of Ismail Mania for the Padres. First Bowman pile. He's a guy who I am pretty high on. Nick Gonzalez, prospect, uh, first round of last year uh, out of New Mexico State. Carson Tucker for the Indians, prospect. And let's go to our first card here. Is CJ Abrams, who is out for the year for the Padres with the Futurist. He is uh, one of the top prospects in baseball, and just pay attention, he's in double A, shortstop, he could move to second base, he could you know, move to the outfield, he could get traded, but he's a good one, he's a good one. Then we have Brandon Marsh for the A, uh, not A's, but the Angels. He's a, he's a legit prospect for them. And our last card is going to be a, a Freddy Zamora. Freddy Zamora Gold. 21 out of 75. Okay, well, didn't get an autograph, but did get a much better numbered parallel than I pulled out of my hobby. So, Freddy Zamora. Not a first, but his first card was in 2021, uh, 2020 draft. He's a shortstop out of University of Miami. He drafted, I want to say first round? Uh, second round. So, yeah, that's that's a hit. So, that's going into the special hit pile that I didn't, yeah, I don't, I have now. Freddy Zamora, 21 out of 75. That's pretty cool. So there we go. Let's go to pack number four. Pack number four, no three, three of the Bowman Blaster number two. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we got our, oh, we got something weird coming up. No, we don't. Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Anthony Santander for the Orioles. Bobby Dingers for the Padres. No Padres, Red Sox. Hitting the hard, but hitting the long ball, but he, his batting average is. I love Bobby Dingers, but the problem with him is his age, too. Uh, Christian Pache, rookie card for the Braves. Kiber Ruiz, rookie card for the uh, Dodgers. Luis Patino, now a rookie for the Rays. And we have our Bowman Scouts, Garrett Crochet. Top 100, well, he barely made the list at 99. But I think he's on the list just because of the fact that he was a, uh, a, uh, a drafted first round and ended up playing in the Major Leagues last year. Insert hit. Then Christian Robinson, outfielder for the Diamondbacks. Prospect card, and then another prospect of C.J. Abrams for the Padres. All right, C.J. Abrams, and you already heard what I said about him. Going into the prospect pile, Asa Lacy, prospect for the Royals. Emerson Hancock, prospect for the Mariners. And Kate Cavalli, prospect pitcher for the Nationals. The last three cards there were all drafted out of 2020, and they were in 2020 draft. Pack number four. Bowman, blaster number two. Let's go. Okay. We got Mike Trout. We all know he's pretty good. Luis Castillo for the Reds. Cody Bellybaum, Bellinger for the Dodgers. Josh Donaldson for the Twins. Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Then we have Rookie of the Year. Is that Cabrian? No, it's Jake Cronenworth. And we do have a first that just skipped in there. Jake Cronenworth for the Padres. 
I like Jake, I think he's a solid player, but the one thing to know about Jake Cronenworth is the guy is like 28 years old. So if you're a fan, awesome. If you're a collector and looking in for investment purposes, stay away, Cronenworth. Jake Vogel, first Bowman for the Dodgers. Um, yeah, first Bowman hit. At least he got a first Bowman, right? I know, seriously. And then Tyler Freeman, Cleveland Indians, prospect card. Nick Mayton, uh, first uh, first Bowman for the Phillies. He's actually been uh, swinging back and forth between AAA and the Major Leagues. First Bowman for Christopher Morrell for the Cubbies. He's kind of high on my list. I think he's a good deal. So just a heads up, Christopher Morrell, one guy to pay attention to. And then the last card is Antonio Gomez, another first for the Yankees. He's a good one, by the way. Um, that last pack, we did pretty well in the first. So. I wish it was like that again. But hey, that's a solid pack. Well, we got two packs left here. Pack number five of Blaster Box number two. Let's throw some packs. Let's go. Okay. Let's get an auto. Let's get an auto. I'm tired of this. And eh, we're not getting an auto. Vladdy Guerrero, who MVP possible, but Shohei's having an awesome year. Uh, Lou Bob, I don't know when he'll be back. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Tanner Houck, rookie for the uh, Red Sox. Sam Huff, rookie for the Rangers. Dalton Varsho, rookie for the Diamondbacks. And then we have ourselves a triple threat talent pipeline with the Braves. Shay Shay Langeliers, uh, Braden Shoemake, and Drew Waters, the uh, talent pipeline for the Atlanta Braves. Insert pile, guess what? You got a new friend. Then we have a chrome of CJ Chatham. Says the Red Sox, pot prospects, but now he's with the Phillies. How do I know that? Well, I am a Red Sox fan, and actually I found out, like, right around spring training, he wasn't with the team anymore. But anyway, prospect pile, and then Byron Stott, speaking of Phillies, shortstop for the Phillies, drafted the 2019, uh, the first rounder for the Phillies. Then we have our prospects of Ryan Velade, Grayson Rodriguez, and Alec Manoa, who's now with the big club and pitching well for the Blue Jays. Last pack of Blaster Box number two. Let's go. Okay. And we got, oh, well our best card, well our best special card was the gold. Uh, Brady Singer, rookie card for the Royals. Alec Bohm, rookie for the Phillies. Nolan Arenado, now with the Cardinals. Juan Soto, stud outfielder for the Nationals. Aaron Judge, PC pile normally, but not today. Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Bo Bichette, all-star for the Blue Jays. And our first chrome is going to be Jordan Balazovic, or Balsavac, or Balsac, because I'm 12 years old, for the uh, Twins, prospect chrome. And then we have another chrome of Matthew Thompson for the White Sox. So, chromes in that pile, we, we got one chrome first. Then our Alex, uh, Alexander Ramirez, another Alexander Ramirez for the Angels, Tally, the Tyler Callahan for the Reds, and Josiah Gray for the Dodgers. So, blaster box number two. We got two left. Here we go, blaster box number three. Let's go. Let's okay. So far, um, we've done okay. Um, didn't you have not pulled a Blaze Jordan yet? Have not pulled a. We did pull the Austin Martin Chrome in the first pack. Uh, we did get the Freddy Zamora so far, so we're good there. Good God, can I open this? No, I can't. Um, let's see if we can get another quality number to earn auto. All right, six cards, six packs, excuse me. Six packs of 12 cards. Start the process all over again. Pack number one of Blaster Box number three in the Hobby Box Challenge on Ripping Packs. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, we got a few tricks coming up. We got Blake Snell for now the Padres. Dude Darvish now for the Padres. Tarek Skubal for the Tigers. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. Rookie card of Tristan McKenzie and rookie of Ian Anderson. Our futurist is going to be Reed Detmers uh, for the Angels. Uh, there's a good chance he might be up with the big club uh, at the end of this year. Depending on how the Angels are playing, um, he's in the, he was in the uh, futures game. Uh, the guy's really good and he's just skyrocketing. Yeah, Reed Detmers. Then our first chrome is gonna be Grayson Rodriguez. 
Uh, one of the, actually the top, I want to say top 25 pitchers in all of major uh, minor league baseball. So he's a good one to look for for the Orioles. And then the last card, Chrome, is going to be Tyler Callahan. Shortstop for the Reds. Ooh, awesome. No. Geraldo Pedromo for the Diamondbacks. Brennan Shoemake for the uh, that team, the Braves. And Jordan Grosshans, prospect, uh, top prospect for the Blue Jays. That pack kind of sucked. Pack number two of Blaster Box number three. I know, math, numbers, it's crazy. Let's go. All right, we do have a rookie of the year. Yay. Nicky, Ma Nick, Nicky, Nick Madrigal uh, for the White Sox. Garrett Crochet for the White Sox. Jose Altuve sucks for the Astros. Uh, Pete Alonso for the Mets. Manny Machado for the Padres. Luis Garcia, rookie for the Nationals. Helio Ramos, 67th of the Bowman Scouts Top 100 for the Giants. I talked about him briefly, but Helio Ramos, one of the top prospects in baseball. He is good, he is young, and he's gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be a really good ball player for them. Uh, he's in AA right now at a, um, at uh, Richmond uh, Flying Squirrels. I actually saw him play when I was in Jersey a couple weeks ago. So yeah, Helio Ramos for the Giants. And Chrome of Josiah Gray for the Dodgers. You'd be a PC pile, but not today, because we're not doing PC piles today. And a Chrome of Luis Garcia, shortstop for the Phillies. I want to say he's got rookie cards out now, but I could be wrong. And then we have Blake Walston for the Diamondbacks prospect, Nolan Jones for the Indians, and Gunnar Henderson for the Orioles. Gunnar Henderson's a pretty solid shortstop. Pack number three of box number three let's go let's get something good for god's sakes we've gotten like two good cards i know seriously let's go all right we got another rookie of the year here sixto sanchez for the marlins jordan alvarez jacob de grom mike clevenger matt chapman javier baez Andres Jimenez, Rookie of the Year favorites, then with the Mets, but now with the Indians. I wouldn't say Rookie of the Year, but he's he's played okay. He's definitely earned his uh, earned his starting position with the Indians. Then we have Francisco Alvarez, prospect catcher for the Mets. Um, he's a good one. Uh, don't know too much about him, but I know last I heard he was in Double A, and he was hitting the ball pretty well. Francisco Alvarez, and then Jordan Walker, drafted number one, uh, first round by the Cardinals last year, I wanna say 19th or something like that. Um, third baseman, six foot five, so he might move to first base, or they might trade him because they have like 12 third basemen. And then we have Froya de Snovova for the Astros, JJ Blade for the Marlins, and Brett Beatty for the Mets. Man, man alive, those firsts are getting hard to pull. Three packs left of pack in the blaster box three. Let's go. Pack number four. Oy vey. Oy vey. Uh, <laughs> Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Joe Adele, rookie for the Angels. Cabrian Hayes. We're doing good on the rookies. We're doing good on the rookies. I'm not complaining there. And we've done okay on the prospects. We're just, yeah. Spencer Howard for the Phillies. Kettle Marte for the Diamondbacks. Joey Votto for the Reds. Oh. That snuck up on me. Paul Goldschmidt with a numbered sky blue, 492 out of 499. Oh, why couldn't it have been like a Dylan Carlson? A Cardinal, I collect. Paul Goldschmidt. He's a good player. The hobby doesn't care though. But I like Paul Goldschmidt. I think he's a good ball player. That's gonna go into the, well, special little hits. Bo Naylor, catcher for the uh, prospect for the Indians. And then Nick Allen, prospect for the Oakland A's Chrome. Then our last cards are Drew Waters for the Braves, Jackson Rutledge for the Nationals, and Trevor Larnick, who is now in the big club with the Twins from Oregon State Beaver for the Minnesota Twins, like I already said. Pack number five of Blaster Box three. Whew, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Kesson Hira for the Brewers. Buster Posey for the Giants. Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Austin Meadows having an awesome year for the Rays. Chris Bubik, rookie for the Royals. Tyler Stevenson, rookie for the Reds. Anderson Tejada cannot hit the ball, but he's in shortstop for the you know, They brought him from AAA down to AA because he was having such a hard time hitting the ball. I was paying attention to his stats. He's just, he can't hit. For the Rangers, Brandon Davis, Chrome, prospect for the Cubs. 
not his first, his first like in 2017, I believe. Brandon Davis, prospect. And Tristan Cassis, who is gonna be on Team USA. Um, the guy's a power hitter, a masher, and I'm actually trying to get a bunch of his uh, first moments in 2018 draft. So Tristan Cassis. And then the last cards are Josh Jung for the Rangers, Nick Lodolo for the Reds, and Jeter Downs. Man, alive. Cool, I'm gonna be doing stats, by the way, um, on how this whole thing is played out because there is, yeah, how many rookies, how many Chrome versus firsts and all that stuff, and oof, it's brutal right now. Last pack of the Blaster Box, let's go. All right, Joey Bart, rookie card for the Giants. Nate Pearson, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Paul Goldschmidt, I already pulled you for the Red Sox. Josh Bell, oh, we got a green one coming up. I'm gonna to skip to that. Uh, Josh Bell, okay, then we got Jordan Westerberg, prospect for the Orioles. Ivan Johnson with a shortstop. First Bowman, we got a first Bowman, ladies and gentlemen, for the Reds, Ivan Johnson with the paper. <sighs> first Bowman, I haven't pulled one in forever. Then we have Jeremy Pena for the Astros. Then we'll go to our back. Our first chrome is going to be another Wander. Okay, cool. I like my Wanderfuls, even though it's like his fifth chrome, uh, fifth uh, Bowman, but still, Wander Franco. Then our next one is going to be, uh, is that Corbin? No, Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. And uh, then our Bowman Scouts top 100. Is that awesome? No, Daniel Lynch, number 61, Daniel Lynch for the Royals, Bowman Scouts, top 100. He's got him in the middle, that's 61. Our last card is a green. It is a rookie card. Oh, is that Alex Kirloff? Nice, Alex Kirloff, 294 out of 399. Okay, so I can, it's paper. I don't care though, because that's the only way you're gonna get rookies or uh, base cards are uh, the paper um, numbers. So that's pretty cool. Alex Kirloff, that's definitely, uh, that's a hit if you will. So that box is done. Guess what? We got one more. One more. The final box. The blaster box. Ripping packs. Let's finish this baby with a bang. Let's friggin' go. Let's rip some packs. Now. Huh. All right. So let's 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 pull an auto. Let's pull an auto. And they're not hard to pull because I know people have pulled them out of blaster boxes. I haven't. Granted, I've opened like two blasters total on the channel. Okay, so here we go. Six packs, the final six packs of the blaster box. Pack number one. Bowman 2021, box four, let's go. All right, Jazz Chisholm, rookie card. Casey Mize, rookie card. Davey Garcia, rookie card. Jake Cronenworth, rookie card. Luis Camposano, rookie card. Ronald Acuna, tier, tier. Let's go to the back. Andrew Dahlquist, prospect for the White Sox. Christian Robinson, prospect for the Diamondbacks. Matthew Libertor started the Futures game for the Cardinals. And we'll go to our first chrome in the back. It's a first of Nick somebody, Nick Kelly, Jared Kelly. Jared Kelly for the White Sox, our first Bowman. Our second chrome is going to be, is that Bitsko? Yep, Nick Bitsko for the Rays. He's going to be our prospect chrome. And then our last is a 91 Bowman. That's gonna be Cody, Cody Bellinger. Going to the PC pile, wow, that was off center. Man, look at that, look at that from left to right. Not good, guys, not good. But PC Pal, eventually. Pack number two of Blaster Box 4. The Hobby Box versus Blaster Box Duel. Let's go. Shane Beaver for the Indians. Kristen Yelich for the Brewers. Sean Murphy for the A's. Kyle Lewis PC for the Mariners. Max Scherzer for the Nationals. Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Anthony Santander for the Orioles. Max Meyer, Chrome, drafted in first round, number four overall last year, I believe, the Marlins. Uh, his first card is gonna be in Bowman 2020 draft. And then Mackenzie Gore, one of the Padres' top young pitchers. 
Uh, if he pitches well, he's a triple-A right now. If he pitches well, you'll probably see him up uh, in August, September with the Padres. And then Tyler Soderstrom, prospect, a first moment of Jake Vogel, which we pulled his chrome earlier, but there's his paper, if you care. And the last card of the pack is Pete Crow Armstrong out of Harvard Westlake High School, but it's like four miles from my house. Pack number three. Yeah, three. Of the Bowman Mega Box Challenge. Bowman Blaster Box Challenge. Let's go. All right, we got a futurist. Bobby Dahlbeck, rookie card. Christian Pache, rookie card. Christian Kieber Ruiz, rookie card. Luis Pino, now with the Rays, rookie card. Mike Trout, stud outfielder. Luis Castillo, we got a futurist of Mick Abel. Uh, first round pick by the Phillies, want to say in the, it was like 16th, 17th or something like that. Out of uh, mild stomping grounds out of Portland, actually, Jesuit High School, which was a, I went to Tiger High School, which is very close to proximity. They were our, we hated them. And Beaverton, we hated Beaverton too. But yeah, futurist of Mick Abel. Hey, you gotta, you gotta respect the fact that it's a kid from a, uh, you know, school you uh, hated, who's now, you know, got a chance to uh, show what he can do in the, you know, in professional baseball. Awesome either way, Mick Abel. And first chrome is gonna be Drew Romo. We already pulled this, but I'll show it to you anyway, because it's Drew Romo. Then our next chrome is Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Then Geraldo Perdomo for the Diamondbacks, Tyler Freeman for the Indians, and CJ Chatham, then with the Red Sox, now with the Phillies. Three packs left, and hmm. <laughs> let's go. Okay, yeah, we got it. Bowman. Scouts 100. Got Cody Bellinger, Josh Donaldson, Aaron Nola, Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Vladdy Jr. hitting balls in MVP style. Lou Bob, Bowman Scouts top 100 of Nick Lodolo, number 49 for the Reds. He was in the first rounder for the Reds in 2018, I believe. He's in double A. Probably be up a triple A soon because him and Hunter Green have been kind of having that little same trajectory. But Nick Lodolo for the Reds. Christian Robinson, outfielder, prospect chrome for the Diamondbacks. Isaiah Green, who is now with the Indians, he's an outfielder, drafted second round by the Mets, traded in the Frankie Lindor deal. Um, yeah, he's a pretty good one from what I hear, but that's that's about all I know from him right now. Then we have Blake Walston for the Diamondbacks, Jordan Balzovich for the Twins, and Matthew Thompson for the White Sox. Ooh. Two packs left on this challenge, and the challenge has been brutal. Key to your favorites. Freddie Freeman for the Bra Braves. Tanner Houck for the Red Sox. Sam Huff for the Rangers. Dalton Marshall for the Diamondbacks. Brady Singer for the Royals. Alec Bohm for the Phillies. Kim Brian Hayes with the Rookie of the Year favorites for the Pirates. First Bowman of Jake Vogel yet again. Another first Bowman of Jake Vogel. PC hit, sure, but. And then Tyler Freeman for the Indians. Oh. Then Freudis Nova for the Astros. D.L. Hall for the Orioles. And Andrew Vaughn, who is no longer a rookie, who is no longer a prospect. He's now a rookie for the White Sox. We are down to our last pack. We have not pulled a Kevin Alcantara, as I mentioned before. I have not pulled a Maximo Acosta in for these blaster boxes. I have not pulled a uh, Lovier Paguero. I have not pulled a Blaze Jordan. Out of four blaster boxes, 24 packs. Granted, this is spread over a totally different run. Will we get all of them in this last pack? I doubt it. Let's go. Ribby packs. <sighs> oh, we got we got a green. Number to 99 probably. Nolan Arenado for the Royal for the, the Rockies, now the Cardinals. Juan Soto for the Twins. Why am I, I just gave the Twins a player. It's Juan Soto. No, he's with the Nationals. Aaron Judge with the Yankees. Mike Estremski for the Giants. Bo Bichette. Let's scoot to the back because we got some cool cards coming. Drew Waters. Prospect for the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks Braves. Wow. Nick York for the Red Sox. PC Powell, but not today. 
Use Neil Diaz for the Orioles. Let's go to our first card in the back. It's a first. It is Jose Salas for the Marlins. I didn't mention him either. Um, yeah, he's a good one to pull. Jose Salas, Marlins, prospect international signee for the Marlins. Our last chrome is going to be CJ Chatham. Yay! Now with the Phillies. And you already heard Touch Bill on CJ. We have a special little, it's the Orioles uh, with the talent pipeline. Adley Rutschman, Yusniel Diaz, and Ryland Bannon. Um, Gunnar Henderson's not on there, and Grayson Rodriguez aren't on there, but. Adley's on there, and Adley's the number two prospect in all baseball, unless he's now number one with uh, Wander getting promoted. But either way, okay. And our last card, it's a green parallel. It's the green uh, exclusive retail. It's a Bowman first 54, whoever that is. Um, Bowman Scouts top 100. Rockies, is that Zach Veen? Zach Veen, there we go. Number 93, 98 of 99, almost a bookend. But Zach Gavine with the green, uh, his first was in Bowman 2020 draft last year. So there you go. There is our oh, four blaster boxes. I'm gonna put the stats below, but I mean, we took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, four, 14 total first chrome and paper combined 14 out of the 24 packs um that's pretty brutal i was not expecting i was hoping to get an autograph i have had friends open packs who did good and they got autographs so i was hoping uh no luck so our inserts we did we did okay on the inserts uh yeah we did okay on the inserts i can't Again, I will put down below the numbers of how many rookies, how many Chrome prospects, how many Chrome firsts. Um, let's do a recap of the hits of the special numbered cards, if you will. The Freddy Zamora, which is 21 of 75. The Gold uh, Shimmer, I believe, is the appropriate terminology on this one. So that would be a hit. Uh, the Paul Goldschmidt paper, not really so much of a hit in my eyes, but it is numbered to 499 with the sky blue, I believe. The Alex Kirloff, that to me is the biggest hit because it's his rookie card and it is uh, numbered to 399. So that to me will be the biggest hit in this uh, just because of the fact of he's a good one and he's, uh, he's finally up in the big show with the twins now. And then the last card you just saw me pull was the Zach V number 299 with the Bowman Scouts Top 100. So again, we did pull, in fact, the first pack, and I will just pull it again just for giggles. The, another Austin Martin Chrome. So there you go. There is your uh, Bowman Comparison Edition um, of Rippin' Packs. The Hobby Box versus four blaster boxes that you'd be able to find at the retail level. Again, I'll list the rookies, I'll list the inserts, I'll list all that stuff, kind of a breakdown. I've already probably showed them down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this really long ass version of Ribbon Packs and bearing with me as I wanted to open four boxes, I'm gonna be honest with you, on camera, yeah. So, <laughs> um, just press the subscribe button and that like button and the notification bell, you might as well do while you're there and follow me. All that stuff right there, it's there. You might as well press it. You know, you go to the bathroom, you're playing on your phone, you can look at the pictures, the handful of pictures I'm gonna post from this. You could watch little clips, you know, maybe I'll do something down the road. I don't know. Anyway, follow me on all that stuff. And you know, like I mentioned like 45 hours ago, um, the giveaway, when I reach 500 subscribers, 20 random packs, 20 packs will go to 20 random subscribers. Once I reach 500, yeah. So there you go, Monday, we had Monday mail, we had a hobby box uh, attempt of a uh, rip. Uh, yeah, there you go, ripping packs. Thank you so much for watching. Come back on Wednesday and we are going to open the uh, Top Future Stars May edition. I know we're in July and I just got the May box in, like, uh, like right before I started shooting this. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good one.